Welcome to the Department of Geography, Environmental Studies, and Tourism. In the next few minutes, I will take you through a journey to discover more about what geographers do and how you might benefit from studying in our department. You might already have your sights set on being a geographer. If not, let me tell you a bit more about who we are and what we do. Firstly, geographers are interested in space and place. Geographers are also problem solvers. They're constantly asking questions and interrogating the why of where. Geographers love maps. We visualize spatial information, making it visible to the world. Geographers are scientists, crossing boundaries between the natural and the social sciences. We are interested in connections, particularly those between people and their environments. In other words, society and space. Geographers have been at the forefront of technological innovation and change, creating geographical information systems, GIS, that now form the basis of much of the technology we rely on every day. Are you still not convinced? Okay, why should you study geography, environmental studies, and tourism then? Let's take a look. Well, geography answers questions about a variety of settlement patterns. Geography also helps us to understand the process and impacts of urbanization. And urbanization is both our current reality as well as our future. Over half of the world's population currently lives in cities, and it's estimated by 2050 that three quarters of the world's populations will re reside in cities. With all those people living in cities, that means a lot of CO2 emissions. And cities are really the source of most of the world's CO2 emissions. Geography also enables us to understand the lives of a range of urban dwellers, those people living in cities, and how they create their livelihoods, and how many of them struggle to create those livelihoods. Geography also enables us to understand more about mobility, particularly mobility practices like the ones you see here, walking. These two mobility practices that we see on the left and the right are the same practice, but have very different meanings. Here's another example of how geography helps us to understand different motivations for being mobile. In this image, we see two groups of mobile subjects. At the top, we see migrants. At the bottom, we see tourists. What you might think is happening with the migrants and the tourists? Are the migrants is interested in golf? Are the tourists watching the migrants? Well, this is taking place in a very small enclave of Europe, right here in Africa. It's the Spanish enclave of Melilla, a bit of Europe within the African continent. And the migrants are waiting to cross over into the border of Europe, which is on the same piece of land as Africa. So geography helps us to understand how the migration of people, both voluntary and involuntary, happens and how that affects livelihoods. And those processes of migration also act to create and change cities. Geography also helps us to understand the cause and impacts of natural hazards, forest fires, and the like, and also understand the role of water in shaping society. Of course, we all remember what it was like back in 2017. Our department is unique amongst our peer departments in South Africa because we're located in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. We offer both undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs. Let's see a bit more about our undergraduate programs. And let's take a look at our module offerings in the department. In the first year, all students enroll in GES 111, Introduction to Human Geography, and GES 121, Introduction to Physical Geography. In the second year, all students enroll in both GES 225, Space, Place, and Mobility in Southern Africa, as well as GES 226, Environmental Processes and Landscapes in Southern Africa. 
Both of these modules in both first and second years provide students with theory and content focused on human and physical geography, and both grounded in the context of Southern Africa. In the third year, students can choose four modules out of our offerings, thus tailoring their final year of undergraduate studies according to interest. In our department, we also offer a tourism major, which starts in the first year with GES 1 and 121, just like geography majors. But then, in the second year, students begin a sequence of modules focused on the economic, cultural, environmental, and managerial aspects of tourism, a critical industry, both in South Africa as well as the world. Our staff have a range of teaching and research specialties. They, of course, align with things like migration and how it shapes cities and citizenship. We're also interested in mobilities, from the mundane or everyday experience of public transport to the extraordinary dimensions of global pandemics that have caused mobility changes that we see today. We're interested in food security, a critical aspect of our urban future, which of course reminds us of how cities grow, often unequally, as seen here in Strand, Namzamo. We're also interested in issues of land and land restitution, and how struggles over land have been part of much of our history in Southern Africa, and remain so today. We're interested in wetlands, which provide critical ecosystem services, and how they change over time through both natural and human-induced forces. We're interested in environmental management, because we all know what it felt like in 2017 when Cape Town was set to be the world's first major city to run out of water. And we use the latest GIS technology to help us understand the world around us. And students can gain important skills for use in their professional lives. Students are mentored within the classroom setting by their lecturers and, of course, tutors. Importantly, Students learn outside of the classroom as well, through field trips. And of course, after graduation, have a variety of career opportunities. You can take your interest in geography, environmental studies, and tourism into postgraduate study or into a variety of careers, from teaching or lecturing to tourism and economic development in the private or the public sector. If you're still undecided, I'll leave you with the following advice. Keep calm and study geography. We hope to see you in our classroom soon and welcome any questions you may have.